For nearly two years, dirty wastewater from a small Arkansas town's treatment center made its way into a nearby river. Now, the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality has already fined the city of Kensett for more than $4,000. Fox 16 investigates Mitch McCoy in studio to explain how this happened and what's being done to fix the problem. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Donna. Hi, Kevin. This has been something that the city has been working to correct for about two years now. The water and sewer superintendent tells me he thinks the issue is finally fixed, but won't know for several more months. Welcome to Kensington city with less than 2,000 people. Typical small town USA. Kensett Water and Sewer Superintendent Steve Brown has been doing this job for nearly two decades. It, it is very important. There's nothing small about the city's wastewater treatment center, including the problem inside it. This is all filtered water. Crews here tell me that 144,000 gallons of water has been filtered today. And this is 250,000 gallons of unfiltered water. A Officials here tell me that this unfiltered water at one point was making its way into the clean water. Every part's got to be right for it to work just like it's supposed to. Brown says that wasn't the case for nearly two years, which allowed dirty wastewater to flow into nearby rivers. We took the plant down to dirt, you know, we, we replaced all this aeration out here. The site, which was built in 1994, wasn't cleaned until just two years ago. Brown says at that time, thick, dirty water cut off the air supply inside the water, which couldn't break down the waste inside. Caused the uh, the dissolved oxygen to, to be lower in the water, which which caused the bacteria not to not to multiply as they should. Brown hopes with a cleaner treatment plant, water will leave Kensett better than it comes in. It's very important. It, it protects the waters of the state of Arkansas. Just to reiterate, the city believes the issue is resolved, but it won't know for at least three months. They also found a red worm issue inside the water that has been since corrected. The city has spent around $100,000 to fix the problem. Again, the um, state of Arkansas finding them more than $4,000. Okay, so they did, the fine was issued, but I'm curious why it took two years. And is there is there an environmental impact with that? untreated sewage filtering its way into, sure. into the river. Well, you know, what was pretty interesting is the superintendent was telling me, Mitch, you know, we can send clean water out, but there's no telling what's being picked up inside that water, the 20 miles down into the White River where it sits. So he brought up that as one issue. This has been something that uh, ADEQ, ha they've yeah. been working on. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to find uh, various problems. That is a very scientific method that they have there in terms of how the water is filtered and pushed to where all that filtered water is. So it's been an ongoing problem. That's why it's taken two years to try and get wow. under control. Mm, my goodness. All right. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Mitch. Mitch. Mm -hmm.